Here we go, round two. Oh, the hanker to start the day. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Kageyaki versus Tetsuyoshi. Lazy Tachiai from Kageyaki, but that doesn't matter. He catches Tetsuyoshi very easily and pushes him out just as simply. Hirato Umi stands up and catches his man at the Tachiai. Now he's pushing forward for the win and eases him out of the ring. 3 and 0 oh for Hirato Umi. Glory, let's see what this chapter has to write. Attempt at a leg pick and slapped down easily. That trick is not going to work anymore, Tetsuyoshi. 3 and 1 for Koto Eko. Who is it going to be? Okino Umi getting hands to the shoulder, but Terutsuyoshi going for a pull there. Okino Umi trying to get a grip on the belt, but Terutsuyoshi keeps retreating, keeps pulling back, but now he's at the edge. He's running out of room to run away. Okino Umi trying to get a grip that can work, but Terutsuyoshi resisting the push, not resisting the pull though, falls flat on his hands. And that is the win for Okino Umi. A nice win right there. But it's Yoshi taking the charge, not doing anything fancy there. Oho keeping him low, pushing at that shoulder, now trying to pick him up by the neck. Oho pushing forward, but he's getting tilted. Needs to reset that stance because Tetsuyoshi does have that grip on the inside. Trying to go for the leg kick, and Oho resists it. Pushes him down to the ground. And that was some pretty good defense from Oho against the uh, the throw there from Tetsuyoshi. Let's see what happens. He does try to go low for the leg pick, pushing forward, dropped to the ground. Oh, and seven for Tetsuyoshi to get Make Koshi at this tournament. Going for the double inside, getting plowed all the way back to throw. Did he stay in? It's called in favor of Ono Show, but Terutsuyoshi? Monoi? No Monoi! Ono Show called the winner. No additional review. Terutsuyoshi is the first man to earn Make Koshi. Going at it, Tetsuyoshi gets blasted backwards, nearly gets the arm pull, but Endo isn't finished off there. Now he's the one pushing forward in the middle of the ring. Tetsuyoshi nearly stumbled, but catches himself underneath Endo, who pushes him away, tries to slap him down. Now going for another strong push forward, gets to the side of Tetsuyoshi and flings him out of the ring. Endo with a win. Oh, Tetsuyoshi does get to the side, but there's no spirit in it. Tochi Noshin catches him down low. Trying to go for the leg there, but he's not going to reach it. Now Tochi Noshin is in an awkward spot, though. Getting lifted up by the neck, actually. Tochi Noshin trying to get the forklift going. There it is. Tochi Noshin with the forklift. We were just saying how we haven't seen that move in quite a while. Tetsuyoshi falls to 0 and 10. Show Tetsuyoshi. Takanosho with the better push and nearly sidestep. Tetsuyoshi survives it. And, well, Takanosho wins on the second effort. Tetsuyoshi surviving on those tippy toes. And if he were to come back from that position, then maybe that would have been a match of the day material. Will it be him? Oh wait, no, Takara Fuji already got his win. Never mind. Slow Tachi Eye from Tetsuyoshi trying to get low, but Aoyama propping him up with some good thrusts and pushes forward with a Yori Kiri. Tetsuyoshi has to be fighting injured because that was painfully slow at the Tachi Eye. Well, Chiyoshoma Henka a defeated man. He doesn't, he goes for a straight up Tachi. I nearly missed those double hands up high. Now he's going for a slap to the side of the head and leads Tetsuyoshi out of the ring, grabbing him so he doesn't go flying as well. Some good sportsmanship from the man who is known best for his Henkas. Uda, far back from the line as he usually is. 
Tadutsuyoshi taking the low charge, but Uda gets lower, pushing him back to the edge. Attempted slap down, not gonna work. Head to head, hands on the shoulders for Uda as Tadutsuyoshi has his back to the Tawara. Uda has the field advantage as he goes for a push. Slap down attempt, not gonna work there as they reset head to head. Now Tadutsuyoshi has the hands on the shoulders. This might be his opportunity to strike, but Uda tries to go low with his head. Stalemated here in the middle of the ring. A slap down, there he goes. Bitten push as he stumbles and falls flat on his back. Out of the ring, 0 and 14. I am voting for Ichinojo here though, because Ichinojo is one of my favorites. It's about to begin and the initial charge goes to Ichinojo just grabs Teresu Yoshi. Teresu Yoshi can't do much here. Trying to struggle, but Ichinojo just freely grabs the belt. What will Teresu Yoshi do from this position? Nobody can really expect him to do anything. Will Ichinojo finish him off? Teresu Yoshi right at the edge of the ring. If you're going to do anything ah. now, do it, Teresu Yoshi. You did not. You got flown <laughs> right off the edge. Flicked like a paper football. Yeah, and there is the 0 and 15. The first time since 1991 anyone has gone a straight 0 and 15 in the top division. That's not a record you really want to hold. <laughs> that was rough. Again, Teru Suyoshi has all of his skill, all of his technique. He was able to defend against that initially on 